Hey there YouTube, welcome back to an impromptu video. Um, now I was an idiot and I decided to, about three weeks ago, um, order a uh, Warlord Mega Mystery Box when they sort of, uh, announced that they were doing a small uh, second run. Now, uh, normally, as far as mystery box go, uh, mystery boxes go, uh, and I haven't had that many uh, in my uh, life, uh, is that I'm not really known for being that lucky. Um, so, uh, so basically, by saying, um, "Oh, I'm going to order a, a pretty expensive uh, mystery box," um, and then expecting it to be amazing uh, would be uh, pushing the boat out uh, too far. Um, now, um, I'm going to try and keep my uh, personal preferences uh, out of this video and just show you what I got um, because I could basically uh, go on for ages uh, moaning. Um, so you can kind of make your own mind up. Um, but the first thing we got here is a couple of weathering powders. And uh, so we have a white and we have a chrome oxide. Uh, now, keeping personal feelings out of this again... Um, you could probably guess uh, of my use of these two particular colours, but uh, there we have it. So two weathering powders. Next up, uh, again, uh, you could probably guess uh, my feelings on these. Um, so we have uh, a new, uh, I think they're unreleased, um, uh, sprue of Highlanders here, Epic Scale Highlanders. So there's the, that's the command, there's the sprue of troops, another gun, uh, a Highland officer, and some skirmishing uh, 95 or 95th. Uh, now, strangely, uh, when it comes to epic stuff, um, as you know, I'm kind of a little bit more of a French fan uh, than, a, um, than a British. Um, so uh, it's very ironic that um, the three sprues of Epic uh, that, that I uh, own uh, have all been British. Um, so that's just a little bit of irony there. Um, the two uh, sprues that I got from uh, War Games Illustrated have both been British. And uh, even though I've seen pictures of people getting the Imperial Guard sprue, um, which I was kind of hoping that, that I would get, and uh, strangely enough, uh, end up with uh, a British sprue again. So there's a sprue of Highlanders. Next up, um, a Conflict 47 Cromwell Tesla turret. So uh, it is what it says on the packet, really. It's a uh, Conflict 47. A turret for your model for your already existing World War II Cromwells uh, to turn it into a Conflict 47 one. Um, so there's that. Next up. Nizorian Pulse Command Bike Squad. Uh, now this was actually uh, missing parts. Um, I don't really know exactly what parts you're supposed to get in it. I couldn't find any pictures. Um, but uh, just having a sort of general look over them, um, there seem to be uh, parts missing. Uh, so I just dropped Warlord Games customer service a email. Um, now uh, I don't. I've never really heard of this race, uh, and I think they're Gates of Antares. Um, but uh, yeah, there's those. Next up, uh, we have a uh, resin Sherman M4A376, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, however, again, uh, I think it came with the wrong accessory bag of metal bits. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it seemed to me that a lot of the stuff that was on the uh, in the accessories bag were, were already on the tank, or looked as if they weren't relevant to the tank. Uh, so again, I ended up having to send a second email to Warlord uh, Customer Services with a picture, uh, just for them to, to identify whether it's just been put into a wrongly stickered bag, or whether it is actually uh, the wrong um, accessory bag. 
um, meant for another tank. Uh, so that's that. Um, next up we have a Victory at Sea uh, Suferin, which is actually a Suferin class uh, light cruiser, uh, which is a French ship. Um, but you only get the ship. Uh, there's no sort of cards or anything for it, so um, I don't really see how you would actually uh, be able to use this in a game. Um, but that's uh, that's that. Uh, next up, uh, this is uh, the last of the polybag stuff. Um, this is a Blood Red Skies Catalina model, which was, I think, the limited model uh, that came if you ordered one of the big bundles uh, from when they were releasing the Midway version of uh, Blood Red Skies. Um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty nice. Um, but again, I don't really know uh, too much about Blood Red Skies, so I can't really... Uh, tell you any, any information but there's no like there's counters in there but there's no like aircraft cards so again I don't know if you could ever really use this in a game um, but uh, just so happens I do quite like uh, Catalina's as, as an aircraft so uh, that's kind of cool I suppose uh, next up um, we have uh, a small version uh, of a tank war um, so here is my uh, my original version, um, and here is the uh, mini version. Uh, so it's like they've taken. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same size as uh, like the black powders and stuff. Um, it could be, um, but obviously uh, the, the actual tank wall book itself is kind of pretty small as it is. So I don't really understand the point of um, actually bringing this out because uh, you know it's, it's like not really that much bigger. Um, so what difference does it make whether you have this size book or this size book? Um, now I do actually like, although I've never actually played Tank War, um, because I don't really have enough tanks to be able to do it, um, this particular uh, version, my original version, um, came, uh, which I got in a, uh, the starter set, um, which came with the uh, three Shermans and two Panthers. Um, this uh, particular version was came signed. Um, so I've got Lucio, Salvatore and uh, Rick Priestley uh, signed uh, in my version of uh, Tank War. Uh, but for some reason uh, they obviously decided to, to shrink it and I got uh, one of those. So uh, yeah, I suppose that's uh, not too bad. Um, but again, I've never really played it. Um, next up, uh, sorry about moving the camera then. Uh, we've got uh, some sort of loose figures. Uh, now a couple of these figures I think are from um, uh, Black Powder books, uh, supplement books. Uh, so we have the um, the Glory Hallelujah uh, figure, uh, which I think is a sharpshooter. Um, and we have the, uh, I think this guy is Anglo Zulu War. Um, a rather nice uh, officer figure there. Next up, uh, now these two chaps um, I can't really identify. Um, now, when I first saw them, I thought, uh, are these guys um, just two random uh, Trailior uh, figures uh, from the French or for the French? Um, now I can't be I can't be bothered to hunt my French army out uh, to, to actually check. Um, but I'm pretty sure, um, I, I don't think those rifles that they've got, they, they don't look familiar. Um, also, um, they haven't got these trade your knives, um, they've got sort of like stubby short bayonets. Now I'm pretty sure that um, if these were uh, like Labelle rifles, um, I don't know, I really don't know. I mean, can anyone identify these guys? Um, I mean, are they trailers? They certainly don't. I don't think they are. I mean, I'm pretty sure they, they have bigger collars, for starters, and their feathers are shorter. So I don't really know who these guys are, and I don't really understand why there would just be two two random figures in a bag uh, as well. Um, so I don't know if, if anyone can identify these guys. Um, but uh, I can't. That's uh, those. Uh, also, 
um, coming up to sort of like the last of the um, sort of the smaller bits, uh, we have a uh, Vallejo uh, British uh, Napoleonic Wars uh, paint set, um, which uh, you know you get some decent uh, extra paints in there. Um, so I'm certainly not complaining about that. Uh, but in classic uh, Sod's Law style, uh, I've just literally brought a new flat red and a, a, a new uh, off-white <laughs> to request style. Um, in fact, actually, I've ordered two off-whites, um, although one of them uh, is in with a Wayland Games order and um, it's probably going to uh, end up having to wait like three or four months for it to, to even come. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can never go wrong with extra paints. Um, so there's that. Now, now we're going to go into uh, the sort of box stuff uh, that came. Uh, now the first thing uh, we have here, just in a randomised pile, uh, we have a Hannah Mag um, here. Um, now I do have a Hannah Mag already in my German army. Uh, I do have another one in my mountain. Uh, and now I have another one. Um, so look, uh, uh, you know, yes, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's like, uh, you can always kind of use transport, I suppose. Uh, so that's not too bad. Um, next up, uh, we have a, a box of um, Macedonian uh, pike, pikemen, common pikemen. Um, these are, I think, just made up of the plastic sprues. Um, that you can get from like Al Caesar if you're collecting Al Caesar. Um, but you only get like two sprues. Um, and no doubt you probably end up paying more for them. Um, now obviously uh, I don't really don't really or have no want to play SPQR, but um, I think they look kind of cool. Um, I've, I've kind of always wanted to do a pipe block or something. Uh, and I suppose these guys um, might possibly get painted some sometime. Um, but yeah, there's those. Next up, now I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of personal feelings into this. Um, so we have a box of Japanese infantry. Um, strangely enough, uh, I, I just came across uh, a couple of sets of, of pictures uh, from people that had uh, their boxes come yesterday. Uh, and a couple of them um, had uh, boxes of US infantry, uh, like the newer ones uh, in. And uh, I was actually kind of excited. I was kind of thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? I, I really, I've always wanted to try those those new, uh, more modern Americans because all of the Americans I've had uh, up to date have all been old, uh, the real old first version ones that are like, you know, bit oversized, um, crappy arms, crappy put the weapons in separately arms, just as bad as the Russians and all the other old school uh, bolt action kits. Um, and uh, it just so happened that I ended up getting Japanese. Now, uh, Japanese uh, are, are probably like the probably I would say that unless maybe a box of so old school Soviet infantry um, could possibly be worse than me getting a box of Japanese infantry because um, I've not only already got a Japanese army that sh which of which I don't really want to uh, expand on. Um, but also uh, the fact that I actually already have another box of Japanese infantry uh, and a box of naval infantry uh, already in my mountain. Um, and now I've got another box uh, in my mountain as well. So that's uh, two boxes of Japanese infantry and one box of naval infantry uh, just sitting in my mountain with no real use. Uh, and finally... Uh, we have a box of Crimean War British Lancers um, and uh, I suppose the cool thing about these is that they are actually metal um, there's, there's a bit of heft to this box um, and uh, they, they do actually uh, look like they're quite nice figures uh, even though uh, I'll probably never actually game with them um, they are kind of cool so I may well uh, paint these chaps up at some point um, just uh, for the hell of it, rather than actually to use them. So uh, yeah, that's that's that. That's everything that I got in my. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. Uh, I got a box of tufts. 
uh, patchy tufts at 10 millimeter, uh, which is kind of cool. I don't think I've ever had a 10 millimeter tufts before, so that's so kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so that is everything that I got in my uh, my uh, Warlord mystery box. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, I'd imagine that uh, I guess uh, most of you wouldn't be too impressed, um, but uh, yeah. Uh, as I say, if, if you're fool enough to order it, uh, then you're fool enough to get the uh, stuff that's in it. So uh, that's the end of this little impromptu video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.